Thank you very much. It's a real pleasure to be here, and thank you for the kind introduction. It is true, and I've, I've said this uh, before when I was recently at MIT, that I have absolutely no pedigree at MIT except winning a salsa dancing competition at the school. So I, unfortunately, I, I studied at Harvard and not at MIT. But it's a real, a real, a real pleasure to, to be here. And uh, I'm not going to announce the winners uh, immediately. I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, Kaisha Capital and what, uh, what we do and why, why we're so happy to, to be here and to support this uh, competition. Uh, Kaisha, for those that you, of you that are not from Portugal, it's the largest financial group in the country. Uh, we are present also in another 22 countries apart from Portugal. Uh, apparently, we are the 101st largest bank in, in the world, and uh, quite a lot of people work at, uh, at Caixa, and, uh, and it's, uh, it's a high-profile company here. But more importantly, we also have a private equity and uh, VC uh, activity. Um, and the way we do that is by investing in three uh, different ways and by supporting communities in, in a fourth, uh, fourth different uh, way that I'll tell you about. So number one, we have funds of funds. And these funds of funds uh, in Caixa Geral Deposit, they invest in major international funds, so big, you know, blue chip, uh, big international funds that a lot of people have uh, heard about. We do that. Then we also do direct investments. That will be in, in Caixa Capital, sort of ourselves. Uh, we do um, early stage, we do growth stage, and we do later stage. So many of the companies and brands that people know in Portugal, such as Small Compal, Vista Alegre, Hotel Pestana, and many other big brands, Logoplast, and so on, have equity tickets and, and growth uh, equity from, from our side. But also many of the small companies, and some of them which are beginning uh, to be uh, successful. But then we have also what we call the sidecars. And the sidecars and these sort of vehicles that we use are really our scouts. Uh, and so BGI is part of this, of this program uh, where we support uh, small funds, university funds, and business angels, lots of business angels, because they really do the work, the detailed work that we can't do with really, really small, small companies. Uh, so it's very important for us because they identify, with our help, the best companies, and we then proceed to invest directly in those companies once, once they reach a certain level. Caixa Capital nowadays only invests directly in rounds above 1 million euros, so Series A typically, and we really only co-invest with specialized international partners because we're sector agnostic and we, we are not specialized in specific sectors. And therefore, we try to co-invest with, with international partners that are. But in the end, it's 700 million under management and another 460 run by Caixa. So it's a big commitment from Caixa. And not only because we like to support the ecosystem, but because we also believe that these are our, the future customers of the bank to a certain extent, right? So by creating companies, by creating jobs, and by creating economic growth, you're also helping uh, the country and the whole group. Lastly, we also do a lot of uh, marketing support to lots of organizations, um, mostly the, the, the other incubators, other accelerator programs, and many other uh, angel uh, networks and events, and uh, business angel associations and so on. We are marketing supporters of their events, which is all part of, of the ecosystem, and we are very, very proud of that. We are, uh, I would say, um, nowadays, particularly in VC, a very hands-on investor, investor. So we are very close to our portfolio. Uh, our team uh, works very hard and, and very close to the portfolio companies, um, putting together business plans, putting together market strategies, product development, uh, networking, making contacts, meeting people and, and future partners in the US and, and also in Europe so that they can have an exit strategy, so they can have uh, a, a, a next round of financing. And even with our business angels and even with BGI and other, and other uh, investment uh, vehicles that we have put together, we are close to the portfolio, not as close as our direct portfolio, but quite close in order to identify the next big thing and where we could invest. We also use a lot our international networks, like I said. Um, a, a big part of our network is, is the International Venture Club, uh, which together with EVCA uh, brings together uh, some of the best venture capital um, players in Europe and also EFFIN, a collection of 
fund of fund managers. And through our association to MIT Portugal and our frequent visitors, visits to the US, we're also developing a very strong network in the US, which is absolutely fundamental for our uh, activity. Now, what I think is very interesting f about Portugal, and, and I must apologize if there's something wrong with this map, but it gives you a picture, is that innovation is spreading like wildfire, and it's all over the country. And we have a pretty good view of what's, of what's happening, but the truth is we have close to a thousand companies now being developed around the country. These are high-tech companies in all sectors, so from med tech and life sciences to ICT, digital, clean tech, and so on and so on. Um, and it's really impressive to see that all this movement happened in the last few years. We're not sure exactly how many years, but not a lot. I mean, I can tell you for sure that five years ago, this was not the picture, well, at least 10 years ago when I graduated from, from, from HBS. So it's, a, it's an, an excellent, an excellent um, uh, future that we see for the country because this is the new Portugal to a certain extent. We're also seeing a lot of business angel uh, creation and a lot of business angel investment. Obviously, this is a young ecosystem. The business angels are not as strong or as mature or as wealthy as the US business angels, but we're seeing quite a lot of investment going in, quite a lot of business angels becoming more and more involved, and some of them already having some up rounds in some of the companies, and we follow their companies very closely because we invest with them, we co-invest. With, with these business angels. Now, BGI for us is a, is a very special case, and Gonzalo has already um, shown this slide, or another version of this slide, and very soon, this question mark on the fourth edition, we will know who are, who are the winners. But for us, it's really a pleasure and an honor to be associated with us. This is by far the most successful uh, program in the country, which is demonstrated by the numbers in this slide. That's a lot of entrepreneurs, uh, uh, 1,518. Gonzalo was right when he mentioned the detail. Over 400 uh, submissions and over 70 million in funding. So it's not only us which are investing. There's a lot of people investing after they see your presentations. So I think this is, this is wonderful. And we're, I can tell you that we're working very closely with some of the winners of the past edi editions. And we're uh, building bridges uh, with foreign investors, and some of them, I believe, will be great success stories. We intend to be, obviously, um, important uh, in the investment community, be partners for, for foreign investors, be cross-border investors, and bring smart, smart investors and smart uh, advisors to the Portuguese exos uh, ecosystem. And therefore, I think that we all together have, a, uh, have an opportunity here to build uh, an excellent ecosystem, hopefully a good portfolio for ourselves, and a lot of success for all the entrepreneurs. So for us, it is a, 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 a real honor to be here. It's a real pleasure. I'll give back the stage to, to Gonzalo and to Luis, and I know that we're going to see a movie, but I just wanted to thank, on, on behalf of Kaixa, uh, to be a partner is really an honor. Thank you very much. Thank you.